Welcome back for another video. My name is Cody, and today I'm going to show you how to go and set up your network printer so that the other computers can go and print from them. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go. We're going to use this brother printer. This is the network printer with telephone and wireless. The HP printer should have similar functions to set up the networking. So we're going to press menu, we're going to go down to LAN, we're going to go to wired LAN, TCIP, and we're just going to go and put in the IP address. Now because this is a Linksys router, it's going to be 192.168.001. And let's just do 120. Then we're going to move down to the subnet mask. That should be 255, 255, 255. And the gateway is going to be 192.168.001.001. And then we'll press OK. Now the main thing you need to make sure is that it's on static. Because when it's on static, that means IP is not going to change. And this is it for the information that we need on here. Just press menu or clear. Go back and now it's set up to get connected to the computer. Alright, and the next step is you're going to press start. You're going to find your printers and faxes. Now, if you don't see printers and faxes, you can click control panel. And in control panel, you'll see printers and other hardware. If it looks different to you, you will see printers and faxes. And you click on that and now you can click add a printer press next click local printer attach this computer even though it's not attached to this computer you're still going to click this make sure the automatically detect and install my plug and play printer is unchecked press next now you're going to click create a new port that's going to be your standard TCP IP port. You'll put next, and you'll go next to the wizard. Next, you're going to put in the IP that you did for the printer, which is 192.168.1.120. And after you put that in, press next. Now you should already have the drivers on a disk or downloaded. So all you're going to do is if you see this, the port cannot be identified, just click next. Sometimes it won't show up for certain computers, sometimes it will. You press next, you press finish, and now you'll have a window that will pop up for the drivers that you have on your computer you're going to press the have disk browse and I have it in my documents and I just follow it you just click on any of them press OK now it will tell you for which model it is the 885CW and just press next, next, and let's press no. For this, you do want to press yes for the default printer. You could share it, and you should press yes for a test page, and press finish. And that's how you set up a network printer in Windows XP.